Hey, what's up everybody? Technicals here, and today we're taking a look at the uh, rig room in the back through the uh, the heat vision, the FLIR uh, tool that we use to find the hot spots. We were doing some work on the intake and exhaust manifolds. Uh, summertime is approaching, so we were trying to find the problematic areas, redirect fans and airflow uh, to make sure we keep things nice and cool. Uh, but I decided to do a quick walkthrough of the rig room and thought it just came out super cool and I thought we could go through it. Uh, now, a couple things to note here. Uh, you have to move the camera very slowly. This is done on my phone. Otherwise, uh, the, the tool has some trouble keeping up and it has to reset itself. So you have to move a little slowly and then also my camera here uh, just to keep up with everything. I had to set down at 30 frames per second. Uh, but we're just going to take a look here and go kind of slowly. Uh, this is the rig room here to the left, as you can see. And to the right, that's one of our bay doors. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. And so you can see that cool air. Uh, there's no insulation on that door, so you can see the temperature variation there. The rigs are in that room to the left. There's no ceiling on it. And so you can see the heat coming out of the top and just kind of heating everything else up around it, even the floor, the walls, everything. So um, we're going to kind of go through here a little slow. And I'll try to pan around so you can look up. You can see how hot. That's like a 20, 25-foot ceiling. Uh, there's the camera resetting thing I was mentioning. So here's the outside of the room. Uh, some barrels there, just kind of containing some heat. So walking up to the door, you can see the walls. You know, those aren't insulated walls. Those are just plain interior walls. There's our service panel over there, so we'll pause that. Uh, that's our electrical panel there. Uh, so you can see quite a bit of heat there, and everything's in, within safe limits. But even if it's safe, it's still getting hot. It's pulling a lot of amps. Um, so I think we're on a 100 amp service here with three phase power uh, I'd have to check that but again that sucker gets hot and so looking up you can see the conduit running up into the ceiling and as you pan over you can see all the heat getting trapped up there and that's one of the things we were trying to work on with that new exhaust fan that we put in so we're gonna go in the room we're gonna move the camera over so you can't see my secret code and then I believe I put my hand out here so you can get a kind of a spooky creepy uh, that's kind of gross right yeah so walking into the rig room here, you can see, boom, there they are. And it's kind of a kind of a mess to look at. And here, here's the camera resetting again, but it, it writes itself. And so you can clearly make out the GPUs. Uh, you can see the sources of heat. And you can really make it out when we when we see the back side of them. Uh, but this is kind of just looking into the mash of, of rigs through the wire racks. Uh, so and obviously everything's open air. That's the 1080 Ti rig there. And everything's mounted vertically. There's one of the uh, the PDUs, uh, a couple 1060 rigs here on the top of this row. Those are all the same Zotac 1066 gigabyte minis. There's my little streaming setup over there, uh, taking a look up to see if the camera gets hot a little bit, not too much. Coming back down, you can just see how much the heat is being put off and heating out, heating up everything else. Now that black thing there, that's the cool air intake. We put that in yesterday. That's pulling in cool air from the outside through a filtered manifold and running it through this tube and we can direct where we put it. Uh, but you can see just the contrast in, in the hot versus cold. So obviously darker colors, colder, brighter colors, hotter. And so we move through here. I take a look at the floor there where the air spills out. That's cooling the floor. Isn't that, I think this is just so cool to look at. Um, new rig down there. Uh, that's the one that came out of the refrigerator, the stupid big rig build. Uh, row two there. It's a few different types of rigs going back to the back row. They're the ASICs uh, and their exhaust manifold, their dedicated exhaust manifold. And you can see that sucker is glowing. Those things put out a lot of heat. And if you look down, you can tell just how hot those ASICs get um, when they're putting it out. Now, you can't see it as much because they're going into this, uh, this flex and to the outside. So those don't show, those don't glow as bright, uh, which is, I guess, a good thing that they're just getting rid of that heat. Uh, so moving on, going into the back row here, uh, there's mostly 1060s down there, a couple 1080s, a 1070 up here, a 1060 rig and a RX 580 rig. And you can see the back of those. You can see the ones without the, the back plate, uh, the heat coming off. Down here, 1070 Ti rig, down there. Over here to the 580 rig, this is uh, the hot boy. He's hot. It's a uh, 13 times RX 580 rig, and this one gets hot. Um, I've got like three fans on this one, and it still gives me trouble. And moving over, we see uh, that's another 1060 rig right there. And here on the end, 
1070 TIs, and then back down to those ASICs. Man, are they hot. And you can see the difference. The S9 is the one on the top, and the T9 Plus is to the right now. See how much hotter uh, that S9 gets than that T9 Plus? Um, definitely a difference there. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the, uh, the end of the, uh, the cool air intake and direct it. And watch this. We're going to point it at some hot things, and you can see. I wish I would have held the camera there longer. You can see it cooling things off as we as we point it so if you watch here at the bottom of this rig you can see as we point it, it starts to darken up i think that's just so super cool i don't know if you think that's cool but i think that's just so super neat to watch uh cooling off the rig and we try it in a couple different places it doesn't work out too well it needs more time to cool down because these things are hot um try to get a little closer up but you can tell i mean it's like the bottom of that uh of that riser just uh, being able to cool off right then and there we pointed at the front and you can see the bottom there uh of that that little fan cooling off i try to put it on the asics that's kind of like a lost cause i think uh i th believe that's just reflection on the side of the of the t9 plus there and then we try to point it at the front just to get a little cooler you can kind of see it cooling off a little bit but um doesn't doesn't really work too well it needs to sit there for a while but I, I just thought this was just the coolest thing, uh, pun intended, to kind of take a look through the farm to see where the hot spots are. We're, we're pretty well addressed right now. Um, I might reorganize some of the rigs to make them not vertically mounted. Some of them exhaust, like the 1080 Ti's, most of them exhaust out of where it would be in your computer, the, um, you know, the plate that mounts to the back. So it exhausts it out of your computer. They're meant to be that way because they're not meant to be hung on a rack. They're meant to be inside of a, a case. And so they come out of the top, and so they're okay to be mounted vertically, but a lot of them exhaust out of the side or even worse, out of the bottom. So that heat, it wants to rise. It just keeps collecting inside, and so it would probably be better for us to orient it a different direction. Here's me lifting up, trying to get a, uh, a wide shot of everything. And so, yeah, that's uh, – so you can see the door, how much cooler the bay door is, and all that heat trapped up there. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. We've got a new 12-inch exhaust fan that just blows all the time when the heat temperature gets too high. It's cool right now, so we turned it off. I'm actually a little cold in my office. I'm trying to pump the heat up here. Um, 1080 Ti rig again. You can see the, the HP DPS 1200 power supplies there. Um, and that's it. So again, super duper cool. Uh, you know, I'm, I plan to do a little tips, tricks, and tools of the trade for having a mining farm. You know, things like this. You know, that, that little dongle uh, to plug into your phone, was expensive um i originally got it to uh look for cool and hot spots in my home uh to insulate my home better uh, but i found it has a tremendous use here in the mining farm uh, you can find where your hot spots are you can use it to uh to look at different cards let's say if you've got one card on a rig and in, in, in smos one card could be very hot but smos doesn't tell you which card it is uh, it's not easy to figure out unless you memorize or write down what the clock speeds are then you can figure it out uh, Hive OS is much better for that, but in simple mining, you've got to just kind of figure it out. And so I find that's a great way, also using a laser thermometer, uh, to find out which one's running hot so you can address it. Uh, and then also the ASICs, because they put out so much heat. Uh, you, if you got more than one of those things, you really got to have some kind of uh, secondary solution to get rid of that heat, because it is a real pain. Um, but I just thought that part was so cool with uh, it cooling off the floor right there. And then maybe that gives us an idea to, uh, to tee off that, uh, that hose and to put it in a couple different areas or maybe feed it directly into rigs, uh, something like that. And so a tool like this is super duper handy, uh, especially in a situation like this where I'm, I'm generating a lot of heat and i got to get rid of a lot of heat. So it makes sense for me to be able to figure out where it is, where it's accumulating, and how to get rid of it. So, All right, guys, thanks for checking out that video. I had a super fun time walking through the farm with that thermal camera uh, to see where the hot spots were. Uh, but it's time to give away our Ethereum for this video. We're going to shorten it up and do it this way. Um, congratulations today to Mr. Ian Bang. Ian, we mentioned you in the video earlier today. Uh, narrowly missed out for not sharing, but again, I appreciate your engagement, Ian. Uh, Ian asked, uh, how about rig inside aquarium and left his ethereum address um that in response to our stupid rig builds video i asked for suggestions on where you might like to see me put uh, a rig that is also stupid uh, for the lols and the memes 
Um, inside of an aquarium, I mentioned uh, we had actually thought of that, about that. That's on our idea wall to uh, actually put it in uh, the bottom of a swimming pool. So tr still trying to figure out the engineering to make that kind of thing happen, running uh, electrical uh, down to the bottom of a pool along with intake and exhaust air. It uh, might be a fun time. It might take a little while to do that, but Ian, I appreciate your comment. Uh, once again, I'm the Technicals. I give away Ethereum on every single video. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to, to get some notoriety out there. Uh, so if you would, leave me a like, leave me a subscription, and leave me an engaging comment below with your Ethereum address. I pick uh, relevant answers uh, to make sure we don't have bots or fake accounts or anything like that. Uh, again, I'm looking for people to help me grow the channel. Uh, have some bigger giveaways going on at larger subscriber benchmarks uh, because I want to grow feverishly. The idea uh, to become monetized and then just give away anything that the channel generates. Um, I, I really don't uh, have any interest in raking in the big bucks off of YouTube. I know that's probably not a thing, so I think uh, it's probably better to just give that all away and uh, keep growing from there. But again, thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to see more videos like this, leave me a comment below. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Technicals Matt. I'm here on YouTube, same name, and I'm also on twitch.tv slash the technicals where I stream my GPU mining farm 24-7. It's just a farm. I'm rarely in there. I, I really don't do much work, but you do catch me sometimes. Uh, so uh, check me out on there. And uh, again, I appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you next time.